Welcome to the channel. I'm Wayne with Sorecraft. Let's get to the news. E-Sun's foaming lightweight PLA has been hard to find since January. It was so easy to get from Amazon next day at a reasonable price. Now it is out of stock everywhere. It still shows up on their corporate website, but no buying options. I talked to the eSun rep at the Rocky Mountain Rep Rap Festival. Apparently, they're having raw material issues, and they're still a month or two away from having more product. At the end of 2023, Sane Smart popped up with a foaming lightweight PLA, but it too is no longer in stock anywhere. PLA Aero, Bamboo Labs foaming lightweight PLA, is also out of stock. So what is available right now? ColorFab was the first to come out with the foaming lightweight filament technology, released in 2019 according to their website, but has always been expensive to get in the U.S. I was recently on the ColorFab website buying their lightweight PLA high temp to test it out, which is not available anywhere in the U.S. that I have found. In the past, it was $40 shipping just to get it from the Netherlands to my door, so this spool would have been $80 bucks all in. To my surprise, when I hit the checkout button, shipping was only 5 bucks from a U.S. warehouse. When did this happen? I found I could order two rolls for the same $5 shipping cost, and anything over $75 was free shipping. With the lightweight PLA at $28 a roll and $5 shipping, ColorFab is now at a competitive price with a material that has the best print qualities. Another foaming PLA material I have not tried is the 3D Lab Print Lightweight PLA. Windcatcher RC is now carrying spools at a nice price for U.S. delivery. Speaking of Windcatcher RC, they have now resupplied their stock of 1x4x1 meter strip, and you can get bulk discounts. My recent order just showed up. Next up in the news is Lightweight ASA. Acrylonitrile styrene acrylate with a foaming agent. Similar to foaming lightweight PLA, but the selling points are higher impact strength, higher temperature resistance, and better UV stability. But it does require higher printing temperatures, higher bed temperatures, high tendency to warp while printing, and bed adhesion challenges. Add in potentially dangerous fumes and needing an enclosed chamber, is it worth all the hassle? I'm going to be comparing these lightweight ASA materials to each other and to the lightweight PLA in a future video, so please subscribe. And lastly, in Bamboo A1 news, Bamboo finally sent out the replacement heat beds, not too difficult to install and back in use. Eight wing panels in 12 hours, not bad. And that's the news for now. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe, and check out our website for this model and others, as well as printing configurations for different materials.